the San Francisco 49ers versus the Chicago Bears. Did you know that only 8% of people picked the Chicago Bears to win this game on ESPN's NFL's Pick'em Challenge? Did you also know that the San Francisco 49ers were a 7-point favorite going into this game? Yet, the Chicago Bears upset the 49ers 19-10. You might be wondering, JT, how did this happen? That's why I watch the games so I can break them down for you so you don't have to watch them. Go look at the box score and go to team stats. When you look down, you're going to see the penalty department. The Chicago Bears had three penalties for 24 yards in this game. Meanwhile, the 49ers, on the other hand, they had 12 penalties for 99 yards. Go to the turnover department. The 49ers had two turnovers. The Chicago Bears only had one. And you see, those are the two biggest things to any upset. Anytime you see a team that's an underdog winning in the turnover and penalty department, Eight times out of ten, they're going to be in a good position to pull off a upset. And then, when you look at how this game played out in the first half, it really felt like, even though this was a low-scoring game, the 49ers were still getting the upper hand on the Chicago Bears. Because Chicago's offensive line did not play good for... Pretty much the whole entire game up into the critical parts of the fourth quarter. But the 49ers defensive line looked really good in this game. And honestly, you can say that the reason why the Chicago Bears mainly won this game was because of Justin Fields' playmaking ability. You know, Justin Fields... It wasn't until midway through the third quarter where the Chicago Bears were finally able to complete a pass to a wide receiver. And this was on Justin Fields' fifth attempt. But you know, this was big because this occurred when he ended up hitting Deontay Pettis for a 51-yard touchdown. This was on third and nine. He ends up running away from a San Francisco 49er defender throws across his body, hits Deontay Pettis, and he takes it 51 yards to the crib. It was an insane play. And this game was ugly because this was played in ugly conditions. They were literally doing slip and slide celebrations at the end of this game. Like there were puddles. It was a really, really messy game. So of course this was going to be a sloppy game and neither quarterback played well from a statistical standpoint but Justin Fields really was the MVP of this game because if it wasn't for him and his playmaking ability Chicago probably would have lost this game and might have only put three points up on the board honestly like, Justin Fields, what he did to put Chicago in position to win this game was insane. When you think about how his offensive line performed. Because the stat sheet only shows that they gave up two sacks. But honestly, they probably should have given up way more. But because of what Justin Fields is able to do when it comes to his ability to improvise, he was able to keep plays alive and his legs, and you look at how he runs, he kind of has a similar style to Jalen Hurts. It's like he doesn't run away from contact. He can run through you if he needs to. So you look at how his performance translated to the Chicago Bears pulling off the upset. It was huge. And Chicago's defense played really good as well, especially inside of the red zone. The 49ers turned the football over way too many times. 
And one of those turnovers occurred in the red zone. It was really early in the game. You had Debo Samuel who fumbled the football. You can't have that. And every time San Francisco went to the red zone, it seemed like they struggled to find a way to punch the ball into the end zone. They had three trips. Two out of three resulted in 10 points, and one of them resulted in a takeaway. Meanwhile, you look at Chicago, I mean... They've uh, found the way in the second half to sustain a little bit of offense. And that's what happens when you allow teams like Chicago to hang around. And on top of that, you have to give a round of applause to, you know, Matt Eberflus getting his first ever win in the season opener for the Bears. Because not too many people expected Chicago to win this game now also you know the field conditions probably played a role as well but Chicago won this game despite not playing really good football and the conditions were ugly but let's not forget that the 49ers outgained the Chicago Bears in total yardage they also outgained the Chicago Bears in rushing yards 176 to 99 but yet Their defense produced big turnovers and big moments. They got big stops, which helped their offense. And eventually, their offense ended up finding ways to put points up on the board. So, props to how Chicago's defense played. There were a lot of big stars on the defense in this game. Jalen Johnson, Jaquan Britsker, rookie safety out of Penn State. He was really good. Raquan Smith. So let me know how you guys feel about this game down in the comment section down below. Because from a 49ers fan's perspective, you got to be feeling a little bit upset with how the whole entire offense performed. But at the same time, you know, on defense, you had way too many penalties. So... I appreciate you guys for listening to this episode of the JT Sports Podcast. Make sure that you check out the podcast on every single podcasting platform, wherever you get your podcast from, Apple Podcasts, Google, Spotify, Amazon, wherever you get your podcast from, the JT Sports Podcast is available. And I will see you guys with another episode shortly.